Hey friends, how are you doing today? I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Just got back from the gym not too long ago, as you can obviously tell by my gym clothes and probably looking really, really crazy right now. Um, and I stopped at the grocery store as well because your girl needs to make some dinner, a nice post-workout high protein meal. A lovely person in the comments of my last video suggested that I do some more cooking videos for you guys. And mind you, I'm no chef. I'm definitely no chef, but I do enjoy cooking, like I said in the last video. So I was like, yeah, why not? And we'll talk about some trading related, um, trading related things, you know, why not? Another lovely person in the comments of my last video also suggested or asked that I talk about how to you know, come back from a break, a trading break. And I thought that was a really good topic to discuss. So yeah, tonight's dinner menu, dinner meal is going to be a shrimp and ground beef taco bowl. Very high protein, you know, the good carbs, good veggies, all that good stuff. Just the perfect post-workout meal and I also have to make a protein shake for myself as well but before we get started I'm sorry I don't know who lives in Canada who's watching this in Ontario particularly but why did I only get three six eight items two of them being proteins and this came up to $42 I just feel like that is a lot of money like I inflation Inflation wants to get its butt whooped. That's all I got to say. But yeah, how are we supposed to survive? Really? How are we supposed to survive in this world if groceries, so eight things, literally onions and strawberries. I wash my fruits. Don't worry. I will be washing those. You know what? Let me not go on a rant because I can and we'll be here for a long time. I hope you can hear me if I put this on my shirt. Okay, my shrimp is just defrosting right now and I'm just soaking the potatoes to wash them. So in the meantime, I'm just going to cut up some produce. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'm the right person to talk about how to come back from a break after trading because I never plan my breaks. I take a lot of them, but I never plan them. And it's usually, um, it usually happens when, I don't know, after like a big, maybe like a big losing streak or it might not even be a big losing streak. It could just be, I'm frustrated with just the mistakes I'm making and it's, it's not really, um, changing. So I'm just getting really, um, upset at myself and I, and I realize it. So I know I need to kind of just take a breather from the charts. Um, I would say though, that it is wise to take a break from trading to avoid just obviously losing more money, but also to avoid your self-esteem being hit because even though we're supposed to be trading without emotion or controlling our emotions, that's very hard for us as humans, you know, and I, I know I can speak for many people when I say that, you know, it's difficult. I think that it's wise to um, take a break from trading when that is the case. Um, when you feel like your self-esteem is being hit, you're feeling less confident as a trader, even though you know how to trade, you know how to analyze charts, you know, you know, your setups, all that good stuff. But if your self-esteem is hit, then you'll always have that fear to even enter the right trade. You know, you might see your setup, it matches everything on your trading plan, but because your self-esteem has been hit, then you know you might you might hesitate and that is the worst thing because that makes you even more self-conscious or it hits your self-esteem even more because when you see that trade play out in your favor and you didn't enter that trade then you're like oh man like it just it just kind of is a a domino effect i would say so i feel like taking a break is definitely important and the great thing about trading is that because it's something that obviously it's up to you um, you can take as many breaks as you want. You know, trading will always be there. The, the markets will always be there as long as currencies are a thing in this world. Um, it'll always be there. So there's no shame to it. I would also say that, you know, don't feel ashamed if you have to take a break. I personally had to deal with that a lot in terms of just, is my camera crooked? Yeah, I personally have had to deal with that kind of, that effect of like that mental 
kind of state where I feel bad or I feel ashamed, especially because I've chosen to create a YouTube channel and, you know, and post trading related content. I feel bad. I feel bad when I feel like I need to take a break, but I really had to tell myself, you know, Candace, it's not just, this is not just entertainment. You know, this is, this is what you're doing. This is your real life. And you're doing this to, you know, have a consistent income to make sure that you can, you know, do things with this and, and have that freedom that you've wanted for years. So it really comes down to your mindset and just realizing, just thinking about what is best for you in that moment and, um, and going with that. Now, in terms of, you know, coming back from a break and, and being ready to come back from a break, I would say that the best thing you can do is probably work on your psychology. Um, before you get back on the charts and it's funny because no matter how long I've been trading I learn more and more how important psychology is to it and it always is the foundation of everything it's always the the factor that um that you have to look at to when when things are going wrong you always have to look at your psychology so you know taking time to really um, maybe write some positive affirmations down for yourself that you talk about every single day, that you tell yourself every single day, that you make sure that you repeat time and time again. Um, just speaking positivity over your life, doing positive things, doing things you enjoy, that all helps your psychology. And I feel like that all prepares you to get back on the charts. Obviously, it's going to look different for everybody as well, because, you know, I might need more time to work on my psychology than you might need. You know, you might need a couple of days, whereas I need weeks. So um, it really is up to you. But I would definitely suggest, highly suggest working on your psychology in some sort of way, making sure that you're doing positive things, um, making sure that you're just pouring positivity in your life and, and increasing your confidence so that when you're back on the charts, you already know, you know, how to trade, but that psychology is now there. And I feel like what goes hand in hand with that is just like my suggestion to take your time when you get back to the charts. Like, don't feel like you have to be trading the same lot size that you were trading before. If you have to cut your lot size in half, just to, again, increase your confidence, make sure your psychology is in check then do that. Do that. Why not? Um, I feel like that's the best thing to do as well, because when you start to see that you're winning trades again and you're getting those little wins, it all adds up mentally. It all adds up financially as well. Every little win matters. So yeah, that I feel like that would be very wise to do as well when you come back from a break is just take it slow. There's no rush. You don't want to be doing the same thing things the same making the same mistakes that you were making before you took the break because then it's obviously going to cause you to take um, more breaks and trust me <laughs> I know firsthand about that um, so yeah just take your time when you get back on the charts I just realized that I'm not the best at multitasking like cooking while talking to you guys so I apologize for that and I apologize if you see the lighting change um, I'm working with the natural light and the sun's going down because it's 8 p.m. But I would definitely say that another uh, tip I guess I would share is to make sure that when you come back from your trading break or hiatus that you come with more uh, good habits. So for example, um, be prepared to uh, journal your trades. Let's say that you weren't as consistent at doing that beforehand um, before you took your trading break. I would definitely suggest just being prepared to do that. So, you know, create a nice trading journal outline, uh, whichever way, you know, either written or through an Excel sheet or whatever way, a program, whatever way you find is suitable for just kind of uh, what your preference is and make sure that you journal your trades every day. And I feel like that goes hand in hand as well with just the whole idea of taking it slow. I feel like you will be more motivated to, um, make sure that you journal your trades if you are just taking let's say one trade a day versus three trades a day you know you can build up that good habit then in that case so taking it slow when you come back from your trading um, hiatus and you know forming good habits you know journaling your trades like i said making sure that you are you know having positive affirmations maybe you have a 
pre-training ritual that you have now uh, that you've now created and, and you want to implement. Those are all good habits, things that will help you just to come back strong from your trading break and to make sure that you don't have to take another trading break for a bad reason, you know? Okay, so now outside is really dark. Yeah, I'm definitely not good at this, guys. <laughs> but we have made our shrimp. We have that seasoned up and that is looking nice and juicy. We also um, cut up cleaned our potatoes and seasoned it up real nice. I will leave all the seasonings I used on the screen just in case you're curious. Um, and now last but not least, we're just making the ground beef, which only takes a few minutes to make. This is a very quick and easy meal, so we love it. It's quick and easy, but it's taken me a while just because it takes time to like chop up produce and whatnot. Um, but yeah, we're going to be um, putting it all together soon. I am actually curious to hear what you think would be the best approach to returning from a trading break, like what that would be, just because everyone is so different. So it's hard to um, have this kind of cookie cutter approach to returning from a break. And like I said, me personally, I, I don't plan my breaks. I don't um, schedule them. They just kind of happen sporadically, which I mean, it could be good. It could be bad. Um, but a lot of people take breaks towards the end of the year, you know, Q4 when the markets are a bit more hot and cold, which is very, very smart, I would say for sure. I, I definitely do that as well. Um, so that is definitely a time where you can be, you know, reading your trading books. You can be um, just enjoying life and not having to worry about trading so much because that obviously helps your mental health. And I think just overall, coming back from a trading break, as long as you're positive about it, as long as you realize that it is not over until you say it's over, um, you know, money can be made back. Really, it's just the idea of money too, just being able to understand that it's just a tangible thing that can be made back. It is not something that once it's gone, it's gone forever. Um, so I feel like as long as you Reapproach trading after your break with the mindset that, okay, mistakes were made in the past, or, you know, I've done something a certain way in the past. It didn't work for me. Let's move forward. I feel like that is a good way to end the video is by just briefly talking about just how moving forward is the main part of this whole returning from a break. You know, as long as you're able to move forward, you don't want to bring all of the, the negative things from before into now your post trading break journey you want to make sure and remind yourself that you are starting fresh and that's a great thing you know to start fresh and just re reset i think that definitely is something that we need to just make sure that we keep in mind so that we can move forward and we don't have to bring things from our past into our new reset trading journey. It's a never ending journey. You know, trading is definitely simple, but it's not easy. So if anyone's watching this and they feel down in the dumps and they're taking a break from trading, just reset, reset, refocus. You know what to do. You know how to trade. You've worked so hard up until now. So don't give up. It's okay to take a break. There's nothing wrong with that, but let's come back stronger. Let's make sure that whatever we're doing, we are progressing little by little. That's all we can do in this life is just progress little by little. Try our best and don't give up. Don't give up. All right. So I hope that helped guys. You know, it was a little bit of a rambling just because I didn't really, you know, plan this video out, but I hope it helped somebody, even at least one person watching this to find the motivation and just the encouragement to continue their trading journey after their break. You know, take your time, don't rush it and, and go from there. So I'm going to finish making my dinner and eat and enjoy the rest of my evening. And I hope you enjoy your day as well. If you're watching this in the morning, noon or night, enjoy. And until next time, you know, be blessed. I'll see you guys in the next video.